everyone, welcome back to the B-Movie Bunker. Today we are looking at 2002's Below, brought to us by David Toohey, the same guy who brought us the Pitch Black Riddick, Chronicles of Riddick type series. Um, what we have is the story of a World War II submarine, um, obviously set during World War II. It's not like it's a submarine that isn't... It's a World War II submarine with crew, and there is something happening on board. Um, what is causing these mysterious events to happen? Ooh. Um, you have a, a pretty decent cast in this one. This is a bigger budget movie. Not like giant, but it definitely had a bigger budget. Um, a lot of people you're going to recognize from a lot of different things. I mean, you've got like Bruce Greenwood, um, Dexter Fletcher, Holt McAnally, um, and Zach Galifianakis as Weird Wally, which if you're going to have Zach Galifianakis in a movie, calling him Weird Wally is probably a good idea. Um, this was an interesting film. I, I think it's an okay movie. It hits on some things. It misses big on others. I think where it missed the most is capturing the truly claustrophobic nature of a submarine. Um, it just, everything seemed, at times it seemed way too spacious in some areas, even though you know, they're going through the doors, but it didn't seem claustrophobic enough. And I think if you're going to set a horror film on a submarine that's your biggest asset right there it's what sets you apart from something uh from just another typical ghost story so you're on a sub you've got this super great location make better use of it than you did um you had good acting um because you have seasoned actors in this i mean there's not giant giant stars but these are all people who have had pretty good careers uh in acting and they're all seasoned veterans acting in this one um, you do get some good moments. There's a couple of good scares here and there. Um, but there's also a lot of the whole... What's behind the curtain? Uh, let's look. Let's look. Let's, oh, there's nothing. Oh, let's look. Let's look. Oh, there's nothing. Now, you're trying to build up suspense and horror, but you need to pay off a little bit more often than that. Otherwise, it starts to lose everything, especially when you're not making use of the fact you're on a sub and it's claustrophobic and it should be tight and cramped and dark and scary, and it's not. It's bright and it's clean. Why is it so clean? You have the guys looking kind of scrubby, but everything else looks so damn clean on this sub. Um, and there's just some, some things that don't line up as far as what happens to some of the crew. They just kind of disappear, and it's not really explained. Um... They do a good job of handling some of it, but other parts, it's like, come on. And for me, overall, the whole thing behind the movie, what's what's the driving force, and what the backstory is, what's the big dark secret of why? It's so damn obvious. I mean, it's it's like a it's like a torpedo to the face, obvious. You're like you know, um, which is both torpedoes aren't that obvious because you're not expecting them. So it's more like you know, a baseball bat to the face because torpedoes are too obvious and. And oh my god, how many different words can you use for woman? There's a skirt on board, a broad, a dame. A, I mean, come on, every guy uses a different word. I mean, it's fine, you're trying to set the vernacular because of, hey, this was the 1940s. Guys talked different about broads back then. Um, so I guess it hits and it misses. So if you like submarine movies, maybe give it a go. But on a scale of 1 to 10, it's like Das Boot, which is. I think one of the best movies ever made. Das Boot crossed with, insert any generic, hollowish kind of, eh, it's not the worst movie ever made, ghost story, mix those two together, and you've got this, like, they, they had something good, and then they kind of said, eh, we don't really know what to do with it. We've got this great premise, we've got a great location, two great things. Let's say I'm grabbing boobs. Um, two good things. And, and yeah, it's like boobs. It's like boobs in the hands of a 14-year-old boy. He has no idea what to do now. He's got these things there, and he's, like, stunned as to what to do. The girl's not enjoying this because she's like, fucking do something, you ignoramus. And he's just going, <laughs> So, that's all I've really got for this one. Till next time. Stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.